Hey guys, the chicken is here. Today we're going to get into your starter guide for season 30. We're going to go over all the best starting tips. You can apply this to any warship season. We do these videos typically before the season begins just to touch on some stuff that we learned from uh, the previous season. This one being season 29. There was a lot that, uh, you know, kind of came about in that season because a lot of people struggled with it. So we've uh, got in touch with the community figured out what works what doesn't and uh, we've made this kind of good primer starter guide uh, for you guys to uh, make sure that you get off to a good start for season 30. isn't it crazy 30 seasons of warships it's just wild uh, i am working on um i shouldn't announce this yet but i am working on doing a q a with uh with supercell um at some point just about you know 30 seasons of warships looking back on it and that kind of thing so if you guys want to uh not miss that make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy the videos i do appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop they do uh, expire every seven days so if you're going to pick up instant training or anything like that for the season i do appreciate it i don't think there's any deals uh, at the moment but um they will be coming so <clears throat> while we do this we'll take on some player bases with my favorite uh player base strategy or main base strategy but let's uh let's start from the top here so the most important thing and this goes into i don't know where to put this the most important thing that goes into every single warship season is planning ahead now <clears throat> the best way to do this is um you have to know what the season is going to be you have to get your hands on the tech tree now typically the sneak peeks go out uh, a few days before so you can watch them on YouTube. Obviously, that's the easiest way to see it. Um, or you can be tuned into the communities, whether that is, you know, Reddit or Discord, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Um, I do typically post the entire tech tree along with the uh, the deck layouts uh, for each level. Uh, I, I typically post those to Instagram just in case people like just want to quickly see the tech tree and uh, they, they don't want to search videos or anything. Uh, if you guys want to do that, it's just at the chicken24 for... Uh, for just your your quick look and obviously the videos are going to break them down but it's important to go into the season with some sort of a plan you can't just you know one of the biggest things we learned last season was the smallest uh mistakes <clears throat> especially early on especially day one um they can really cost you like if you're trying to play competitively i mean if you're just trying to get to diamond you should be able to do that each and every season for the most part barring you know some difficulties you might have with um you know your hq level or instant training or things like that um but i mean if you have all those all those things there's no reason you shouldn't be hitting diamond each and every season or at least getting very close to it now it's all part of just having a plan right so knowing what the tech tree is having an idea and sometimes the best plan is to just sit back and wait and just kind of you know there's there's two options basically for figuring out what the what the best unlocks are or what the best path in the tech tree is and usually it pays off to wait and just let people go ahead and figure out what that is you know um last season i was definitely the uh the guinea pig for um for some of you guys because i started out with more tech than i usually do as i finished top 500 in season 28 um but i made a bunch of mistakes at the beginning of season 29 and it ended up, ended up costing me a lot later on so um, you know, sometimes that's me doing it and, uh, you know, it, it happens to everybody, but the best way is to just have a good plan and, you know, follow someone else's path. If it, uh, if, if you're not sure where to go or you're not like, uh, super confident about what to do, that that's, that's usually the safest way, um, to do it the best is to simply wait. Cause I mean, you want to get out to a fast start. It's kind of, you know, two-handed. I mean, you want to get out to a, to a really fast start and you don't want to miss chest timers or anything like that. We'll talk more about that in a second. But um, you, you got to make the right decisions right away. And there's a few ways to do that. It's not foolproof. It's not, you know, guaranteed that you're not going to make a mistake. But that's the best way that we've been able to come up with it. So getting off to a good start is so huge in Warships. Now, like we said, we want to push right away. So basically, the longer we end up waiting... Warships works on chest timers. Chests in warships are your lifeblood. They have your keys and they have your tokens. If you don't have those, you're not unlocking stuff early. You're not going to progress. Hey, we got a crystal. Nice. Hey, let's, we should put the crystal myth to test here. Um, but yeah, if we don't have those things, then we're not going to be progressing, obviously. So um, you want to unlock your chest as soon as, as soon as you do that, because we start at full chest capacity. We, we start at four to four. 
Why? I don't know. Why have they not changed that? I don't know. Seems easy. Seems very stupid. But they, they don't change it. So as soon as the season starts, you got to get that first chest. Get your timers going. Um, clear your fill. And then it just means if you get all your chests throughout the season, then you'll get all of your chests. You won't be missing any because you didn't get them right away. Um, now, it's nice, too, playing at the beginning. It's not just solely about the chest timer, but... You know, everyone's kind of in the same boat. They're trying to figure out what to do. They don't really know what uh, what works the best just yet. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so you might have a good chance of, you know, getting something early. Like, I, I feel like that's where a lot of the excitement comes from at the beginning of the season is just hoping that you, you pick that right path and you can just kind of blow by everybody. And then, you know, that's, that's always a ton of fun. Um, it doesn't always happen, but if you play your cards right and you don't make any, any mistakes, then uh, absolutely... You know, you can get out and ahead of all your friends and get out on those early leaderboards, which is what we're always trying to do. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's important to get that first chest, get your timers going right away. Uh, you want to be familiar with how everything works. Uh, some seasons, you know, you're going to have to play Rocket Chopper. Some seasons, you're, you're going to have to play Seekers. Some seasons, you know, it's just get straight to Bombardiers and Heavy Choppers for the most part. Um, other times, we're using uh, uh, Everspark at four engines. Like... You don't want to go into the season and just be like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wait till I get bombers and then, you know, once I get those, I'll be good because they're easy to use. Um, you want to be familiar enough with all the troops that you're, you know, skilled with them and you're not going to have any issues on adapting to the meta, whatever that kind of shapes out to be, right? So you just want to be familiar with everything and know how to use all the troops. Um, so what really came up this season was tech riding versus base riding. This is something that we always talk about. And we, we always say, you know, base riding is, you know, kind of a slower progression way of, of doing things that it basically just means upgrading your um, defenses and, um, you know, progressing that way instead of uh, running ahead and trying to unlock a bunch of stuff and, uh, you know, doing, th doing things that way. We, we really found out this season that the only way to get ahead sometimes is to tech ride. Like, you can't always just rely on your base. Sometimes it's not going to be good enough. You know, regardless of what your tech is, regardless of what your defense is, yes, you're going to need a strong base to proceed, but if you're able to get up and ahead and get um, that next offensive thing, you know, that's what's really is, that's what's really is going to propel you forward, um, more so kind of than anything else. So... Again, it comes down to the tech tree, it comes down to the right plan, it comes down to all that stuff. Um, so yeah, just just making sure that you're in the right boat on uh, on that aspect. I don't know if we're going to finish this base or not, guys. What do you think? It depends if that rocket comes in clutch or not. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this could go either way. Come on, come in. We got that one heavy in front just saving us, I think. Oh, come on. There's not much health left on that bad boy now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> God, that's so close. Anyways. Um, yeah, so that's tech riding. That's base riding. Um, let's just find a new opponent. He didn't have that much loot anyways. Actually, that's a lie. He had a ton of, a ton of loot. Um, yeah, so base riding, tech riding. There's that. Um, if things aren't working out for you, there's typically, you know, you, you, you got to address the tech tree. You got to change your base layout frequently. You got to do that at least once a day right off the start. Um, maybe you're using the right troops, but you're not um, using them the most efficient way. We saw this last season um, when I went from rank 21 to 22. I was using the right troops. I was using the Melon Bombers and uh, Heavy Choppers, but I wasn't flaring them the right way. I was letting them just kind of spread and free clear. Um, and there was a lot faster way that we were able to figure out that brought us down to the left. Um, and that was, you know, very key in, in getting up to rank 22, only to fall back to 21, but, um, anyways. Yeah, so, I mean, and then you gotta understand what effective tech is, so when you have something that's good, knowing when to push, when knowing when to hit the gas and hit the brakes, and then knowing when to finally hang it up for the season and park. Now, parking is something that's not just for getting on the leaderboard, parking is something that's important just for managing progress, and you want to finish as high as you can each season obviously right because it puts you in a, a a better to a better position to start the next season and then the insane cycle starts all over again <laughs> and we tortured ourselves uh, again for another three weeks but um you want to do that so it, it's important to know when to stop 
Because I feel like a lot of people, including myself, did that this season where we really just, you know, shot ourselves in the foot with uh, getting out to, uh, you know, rank tw wherever it was, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever rank that you're at and then pushing those last kind of few days it's not always beneficial to push those last two days because you got to keep in mind everybody else is catching up on tech they're maxing out their tech tree so it's a lot more likely that you're going to match up with people that have everything that you do um, you know if you were right on the curb of having an advantage and then you know as those last few days come along then everyone catches up to you and your advantage is gone you weren't doing that well anyways even with it and then uh, the losing starts so I definitely made that mistake it, it's hard to call but um you just got to find that sweet spot where you know you're close to the end and you're playing a little bit and you, you know inevitably you're gonna lose a couple it's hard to hit your peak every season and know exactly where that is unless you have a specific goal and you stop there um but yeah yeah you want to try to do that as best you can and you just got to gauge it on how well the, the attacks are going um but yeah so that is your Season 30 starting guide, guys. I hope that helps you out. And uh, don't forget, we are going to be streaming on Chicken Gaming, um, not uh, not the Chicken channel. Um, of course, the Tech Tree Guide and all that stuff will be posted um, on this channel afterwards. But uh, for the live streams, we're going Chicken Gaming for right now. Um, those links are on the channels, and you can just search Chicken Gaming, and that channel should pop up if you do want to be in the live streams. As always, guys... Thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.